Hey friends, all right, so today is September 21st, 2020, and I am 11 years and nine months on testosterone. Yeah, the 21st, yep, it is today. So one of the last times I uploaded was a couple years back, and it was a uh, apologize for going on a break video, as you can see here. Hey everybody. So it has been a hot second since I've made a YouTube video. And the first thing I was gonna do was apologize for that, for not making a YouTube video. And what I realized was that I wanna actually apologize for taking a break without telling you. Where I felt like I needed to apologize for not telling folks that I was gonna take a break. Um, the truth is that, you know, I don't really owe anybody any explanations about why I did take a break from YouTube, but I did finally feel like I was at a place uh, and compelled to come back to YouTube and to just be honest about everything that's been going on during my absence. So back when I made my most recent, <laughs> most recent, why did I disappear video, it was because I was working on a lot of projects at the time. I had a lot going on, writing my memoir, working on music, moving relationships, ton tons of things that I needed to complete, art projects, work stuff. Um, but this most recent break over the past two years or so was mainly not because I was working on projects or completing projects, but as a way for me to not not as a way for me to, but I needed to address my mental health. And that's really what it, it comes down to. I've been pretty candid about my mental health uh, struggles and situation on other forms of social media, like on Instagram and whatnot, but I kind of made a lot of excuses for not sharing it on YouTube. And one of my biggest excuses was that I didn't have the tools. So after I got robbed years ago and they took my camera, it was super disheartening. But after getting robbed and then I had a really old iPhone and I just like didn't have a Mac or any type of computer that I could edit on easily and I'm a creature of habit and I wasn't wanting to learn a new, a new system entirely. So I just made all these excuses in my head for why I couldn't be candid or I couldn't go on YouTube. However, about four months ago, my old phone, I accidentally dropped it on the perfect angle and it shattered. So I got a new phone and I got a new phone that actually takes such good pictures and such good video that I was taking all these really cute pictures of my cat Cheddar. Cat tax. And I realized then, you know, I could easily make a video on my phone. So no more excuses, Skylar. Like, you can do this if you want to do this. And that was the biggest part for me was, you know, when I reached out on Instagram and I asked folks if they had any questions for me, if I was going to make a new YouTube video for the first time in so long, um, a big chunk of those questions were about where have I been. So here is a display of the questions that I received and that's just a, a small amount of them and so I want to just in this video address simply where I've been what I've been doing since leaving YouTube why I'm back and uh, what I've what I've been kind of going through and I hope that this does help uh, not not explain why, why I've been gone because I don't I don't feel like I need to explain why I've been gone but uh, to give you some clarity on what's going on in my mental health and how that has affected me as a YouTube creator. So before I get too far into this, I'm gonna put a trigger warning just in case. I'm not gonna really go into specific details about everything that I was going through, but just a trigger warning that I'm gonna be talking about a mental health diagnosis, which I know uh, can be kind of overwhelming for folks. So if you don't want to hear about that, feel free to tap out, um, leave a comment down below if you have any questions for me to answer in future videos, but yeah, totally feel free to disconnect. So about two and a half years ago, I was recommended by my therapist to see a psychiatrist to do some testing for bipolar disorder. Now, 
I, for a long time in my life, I've been misdiagnosed with things like ADHD, or I've been suggested that I have ADHD, that I have insomnia, other things like that. And so when, when my therapist suggested that, I actually didn't schedule an appointment with a psychiatrist. I was like, you know what, I, I don't wanna deal with this. I, I, she's just speculating, it doesn't, it's not necessarily me. Um, but I was dating somebody at the time and actually this person broke up with me and basically it was because, uh, you know, if you could pick and choose like a Skylar without bipolar or a Skylar with bipolar, I guess she wanted to choose the Skylar without bipolar. So that was really hard for me and kind of pushed me even further into the closet of, do I want to seek help for this? Cause this sounds really, <laughs> sorry, this sounds really scary. And so I didn't seek help for it at the time, which I regret. About a year and a half ago, my sleep patterns took a real big dive and basically I hadn't slept more than a few hours in several weeks. And the worst part about it, this kind of bittersweet, was that I felt like I had all this creative energy. I was on top of the world. I was, you know, making promises that I could never fulfill. I was taking on a lot of projects that I was never going to complete. I was starting things and not finishing them. I was honestly sometimes felt like I was hearing things and just the sleep deprivation was really bad. So it got to a point one day where I broke down and um, one of my friends drove me to the emergency room and uh, they basically put me on bipolar meds and I went back, saw a psychiatrist soon after and was diagnosed with bipolar. Uh, I don't know if it's one or two, I've never really asked, but my main thing is I mostly get manic and not depressed. When I do get depressed, it manifests itself in like a, sort of a friendlier way than I would imagine previous times I've been depressed. So, um, yeah, they, they put me on meds and then I had to do follow-ups with psychiatrists and therapists for like nine months before we actually got to a dose that was working for me. And even then it's still getting adjusted, but I'm finally at a place now where as long as I take my meds, which I, I do, and I've got a lot of people holding me accountable for that, as long as I do that, I feel calmer and more at peace than I really have in my entire life. Um, the side effects of them aren't too severe for me, but, you know, uh, a lower sex drive, which is fine because I'm single, um, and it would be fine even if I wasn't single, but uh, weight gain, which, you know, combined with COVID, to be expected. Um, but other than that, you know, it's been really amazing to actually fall asleep, like, and sleep. But it just, oh, it, it blows my mind how much that's affected me. So what does that really have to do with YouTube? Great question. Um, the thing is that with bipolar, at least in my experience, and again, I'm only talking about my experience, and I was going to mention this later on, but it's worth mentioning now, is that, you know, in the same way that I chose to share my transition with the world via YouTube and other forms of social media, it's my choice to share my bipolar diagnosis. And in the same way that a trans person doesn't need to disclose their trans identity to you, a bipolar person or someone with mental illness doesn't need to tell you about that illness. I just operate under uh, be who you want to be when you were younger as my mantra. And so if younger Sky could have heard an older Sky being like, hey, you know, you might have this, but it's not the end of the world. You're not gonna, you're not gonna die or anything. Get it checked out. Um, that would have meant the world to me. Just to know that like, yeah, for a year I denied it. I didn't want it to be true. And then I finally went and I wish I'd, I wish, I wish I could have that year back from my life because a lot of what happened during that year was really negative for me and um, I have a lot of regrets and I've had to say a, a lot of apologies and I've had to um, really do a lot of a lot of work to hold myself accountable for the actions that I did when I was manic uh, and when I was depressed and just not in my my normal state of mind. I really missed the the community aspect of YouTube and just having this visual documentation of everything is a really interesting, really interesting thing. So 
I'm looking forward to addressing the rest of the questions that I got from y'all on Instagram and Twitter. All my social media links are down below. Um, you can definitely follow me on there. I definitely am a bit more active on there, but I'm gonna try and try and bring Skylark 11 back to life. Just so y'all know, my name is Skylark Kurgel, but you know, you can call me Skylark 11, whatever you want. If you have any other questions that you wanna ask me specifically about what I discussed in this video or just any questions for me to answer in my next video, please comment down below. I won't actually be shouting out people's usernames or handles because I, I don't wanna risk like somebody not wanting that shared. So if I do answer your question, you know it's yours. Like just know, like I appreciate you asking that. And um, yeah. Last but not least, if you've watched this far, I also do have some medical bills that I need to pay off. So there's another link down below to buy me a coffee, but I don't drink coffee. So the buy me a coffee is actually medical bills that you're helping me pay for both myself and for Cheddar because his vet expense was huge. Ah, gosh. All right, so if you've made it this far, thank you for existing. Thank you for supporting me. I appreciate you and I look forward to uh, talking to the internet more in the future via video yeah we'll see it's hard to it's hard to like look at myself right now and just be like yeah i know i've gained weight yeah. but and i've gained a beard but and i've got new glasses but i say but after everything gosh y'all i'm sorry i'm so i could be so annoying sometimes but maybe it's cute who knows <laughs> All right, thank y'all for tuning in to Welcome Back Party. Yay! Well, thank you all so much. I appreciate you. Bye.